Hi everyone, this is Gabe with Harvest Plugins, and today I'm going to show you how to set up our MIDI plugins in basically every DAW. This video is meant to cover the setup that Harvest, Harvest Mini, and Forger all require to control other instruments, input MIDI, and export it. For this we're assuming the plugins have already been properly installed and are ready to go. For this video I'm going to use Harvest for each example, but the process is pretty much the same across all our products. So let's get started right now. So in Ableton, you'll need two MIDI tracks, and on the first MIDI track, you'll have to drop in Harvest. I'll close out of that for now, and then I'll go and drop in our instrument on the second track. Now that we have the instrument dropped in, we can go over to the instrument track and change this top dropdown from All Ins to Harvest, change the second dropdown from Post Effects to Harvest, and then change from Auto to In. The last thing you'll want to do is arm the track that Harvest is on so that it can input MIDI. Now we'll open up Harvest, and test it out. So let's see if it can output MIDI. Just put some preset eighth notes. And now let's see if it can input MIDI by turning on MIDI tap and using our MIDI instrument while the DAW is playing. So that works great. Now the last step is exporting the MIDI. So what you'll do is hover over drag, click and hold and drag it out onto the instrument track. And there we have our MIDI properly exported. In Logic, the first thing we need is an instrument track set up. Since that's working, I'm going to click MIDI effects and then select Harvest from my list. Now that it's open, I'll turn on MIDI tap to see if it's properly inputting MIDI from my MIDI controller. And that's working great. Now I can test the drag feature to see if it's exporting MIDI properly. And there it is. The MIDI has been properly exported into Logic. In FL Studio, what we need is a track with Patcher on it, so I'm going to replace this track with Patcher. Once that loads, I'm going to right-click and add Harvest, and then I'm going to add our instrument track as well. Now that we have that, we'll disconnect the yellow output from Harvest and disconnect the blue input from the instrument, and now we'll just connect the blue output from Harvest into the blue input for the instrument. And now the last step is double-click on Harvest and then go into the gear icon and change this output port value to anything other than blank. Once that's set up, it should be working. So let's test out the output by putting in eighth notes. Perfect, now let's test the input by using MIDI tap. Clear that. And that's working great too, so let's try the drag feature. We're gonna click and hold, drag into our MIDI area, and there we have it. Our MIDI is exported in FL Studio. In Studio One, we'll go into our instruments and drop Harvest into our first track. And then we'll go ahead and drag our instrument in as well. Expand that and change all inputs to Harvest. Then we'll arm Harvest and open up the interface to test out the output. Put some eighth notes down. Works great. And now we'll test out the input as well. Turn on MIDI tap and play. And it, the input works as well. Now let's test out the drag. We're gonna click and drag right there. And now we can disconnect this if we like and just listen to the outputted MIDI. And that's it for Studio One. In Cubase, what we need to do is open up our MIDI instruments. Then we're gonna drop in Harvest on our first track. Next thing we'll do is drag our instrument right below it. And then on the section that says all MIDI inputs on our instrument, we're gonna change that to 01 Harvest MIDI out. Once that's done, we'll arm both tracks, and now we can test to see if Harvest is outputting any MIDI. Okay, and now that that's working, let's test out the inputs. Turn on MIDI tab, press play. Perfect, the notes come in perfectly. Now that that's working, we can make sure that the drag is working. Click and drag. And there's our MIDI right here. And that's everything for Cubase. In Reaper, what we'll need to do is create a new track and then go to the effects section to insert Harvest. Next, you'll want to insert your MIDI instrument, so add that here. And now we can test Harvest's output to make sure it's working. There it is, working great. And to do MIDI tapping, we need to make sure that this track is receiving MIDI from our instrument, so I'll do that right now. Okay, now that that's hooked up, I'll clear this, test MIDI tap, and see if it works. And there you go, MIDI input is working as well. Now that we know that the input is working, let's make sure the drag is working as well. So we're gonna go and click and hold drag, bring it over into our instrument track, and there's the MIDI that's been inputted into Reaper. 
In Bitwig, what we'll need to do is create a track with Harvest on it. Once that's open, we can drag our MIDI instrument below that. And then we're going to go down to this section and expand the settings so we can see them. Then under Harvest, change Master, go from Notes to Track and select your instrument right there. Now that I have that selected, we should be able to output the MIDI pretty easily. There it is. And now what we'll want to do to test the inputting MIDI is arm the track that Harvest is on and then turn on MIDI tap and see if it inputs MIDI. And there we go, inputting MIDI just fine. Now that that's taken care of, let's see if dragging works. Click and hold and drag it to the track. And there it is, our MIDI has been exported into Bitwig. In Cakewalk, what we need to first do is add Harvest to a track. So drag it in right here. Just press OK on this window, then drag our instrument to the track below it and just press OK for that as well. Now that that's in, we'll expand this view here, change this input setting from Omni to Harvest MIDI Omni, then change this input echo setting to on by clicking it. And once you have that, you'll arm Harvest's track. Then we can open it up and test out to see whether it's working. So first we'll test out the output by changing this. That's working great. Now let's test the input by turning this on and using our MIDI controller. And there we go, it's inputting MIDI perfectly. Now I'm gonna drag to make sure that's working as well. And there we go, the MIDI's been properly dragged into Cakewalk. In Mixcraft, what you'll need to do is click this little keyboard icon to open up this window. In this section, you'll choose Harvest from this list. And then you'll go over to this section and click this drop down to add any instrument of your choice. Once that's set up, we'll see if it works by testing this with preset eighth notes. We'll turn on MIDI tap and see if we can get the input working. There we go, the input's working as well. Now that the inputs and outputs are working, we can see if we can get the drag to work. Click and drag. And there we go, the MIDI has been outputted into Mixcraft. And waveform, what we'll do is add Harvest to our first track here. And in our second track, we can add our MIDI instrument. Once that's set up, we can move these windows out of the way. Change the input of our instrument tracks to MIDI tracks, track one, that's the track with Harvest on it. And we'll also need to make sure that Harvest is receiving inputs from our MIDI keyboard. So we'll go and choose our MIDI instrument right there. Then we'll arm this track and arm this track. Now let's test the output. So we're gonna add some eighth notes, press play in the DAW. There we go, it's outputting correctly. Now let's test the inputs. I'm gonna clear these, turn on the MIDI tap feature, press play in the DAW, tap away. And there we go, tapping works as well. So now that we have that working, let's drag to see if we can get that MIDI out. And there it is. Our MIDI has been properly exported into waveform. In Moolab, what we'll do is create an instrument track with Harvest on it as our first instrument here. On the same track, we'll go down here and add our virtual instrument underneath it. Now that we have that set up, it should be outputting MIDI properly. Let's test it out. Perfect. Now let's test the input. Go to turn on MIDI tap, press play. And there we go, it's inputting MIDI as well. Now that we know that's working, let's test the exporting by dragging from this. And there it is. The MIDI has been properly exported into Moolab. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful in showing how to set up Harvest, Harvest Mini, and Forager in every DAW. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Gabe with Harvest Plugins, and we'll see you on the next one.